welcome to Killer Instinct Baits, and today we're catching the PB on my fishing lure, the Slayer Shad. In the world of swim baiting, size matters, cool. and I need to catch at least a six pound. Oh! I need to catch at least a six pounder to beat my PB. So today we're gonna catch that, and we're gonna destroy my previous swim bait record. If you didn't know, I make the Slayer Shad. It used to be on my hat. I dropped it. The first order of business is making myself a bait because I have this really bad habit of selling off all my fishing lures and then not having any to fish with. So, made myself a Slayer Shad, blue and purple, my favorite color. Now let's get fishing. But I don't know, Jace, today, I just feel it in my balls. I'm gonna catch a big fish. No way. No way. Whatever it is, it's really small. That doesn't matter, I owe five bucks. <laughs> you owe me five bucks. He's an aggressive little bugger eat the Slayer Shad. That's half his size. And Jace owes me five bucks. <laughs> Good little dink on the Slayer Shad. You know, would be disappointed, but you gotta give some dinks some love. So we'll throw them back. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, there's another one, another bite. He's, he's taking it, he's taking it. Come on, buddy. He's swimming right at me. He's gonna jump up. Oh, he's small. Holy cow, I think this is the smallest fish so far I've caught on this. Dude, I don't understand why they're just like, are they starving? You, I don't know, dude. They just see that movement on the top and they're like, I must eat this. Okay, we're throwing the little dink back. Little dink on the Slayer Shad. See ya, buddy. Yeah, we'll catch him when he's like four pounds in a year or two. Slayer Shad on top water goes crazy. You heard it here, folks. dinks and tanks alike little did i know in this instance i was foreshadowing myself because five minutes later on the other side of the pond me or the turtle yeah. what are you talking to oh oh dude off the bank holy cow jace dude Woo! <laughs> no way no way that's insane. There is no line on my pole. Let me give that some slack. No shot. He gobbled it too. He got both treble hooks. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's a big one. She's a big one, ladies and gentlemen. She's a big one. That four pounder was pretty sick, but that is not my PB. So I decided to go to another pond where the owners had told me this one had some big bass in it, so I gave it a shot. I think we got one. There we go, we got one. Nice. Well, let's not lose them in the reeds. Sweet. There we go, boys. Just caught this on the Slayer Shad. Pretty decent fish. It has taken me literally almost all day. And it's just starting to liven up over here. Throw them back. All right, thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Meep. Cool. Nice. Decent little first catch today. It might be a night fishing video because it's starting to come over live, come alive over here. That was on camera. That was huge. I think we'll fish back here. <laughs> there we go. Got one. Tiny, another tiny bass, tiny little thing. A few days later, I came back with a different colored Slayer Shad just to give it a shot at this pond again. There we go. Ooh. Yes, sir, we got a fish on. Good little dink on the shad. But real with you guys, I'm tired of catching dinks. We need to catch something bigger. 
So in an effort to catch something bigger, we brought out the big guns. We're going to the very secret lake. First, I have to introduce you to the boat, the finest piece of 1987 craftsmanship ever introduced to the market. Featuring fiberglass seats that make your butt itchy, a driver's seat that's literally busting at the seams, and you have to be under 5.11 to fit into, switches and dials that seemingly do nothing, a hand painted engine in the power of two full horses, <laughs> and so much more. This sucker's sitting at a mile 236,250 Russian rupees, and today it is our steed to victory. And this lake is special because they stock it with Florida Hybrid which can get huge. So we hooked up the boat, we got, we, we, we took it, we put the boat in the water <laughs> and uh, we got to fishing. Oh, that hurt. Yeah. No, the fish just struck at the thing, at the rock. Off the back of the boat. Okay, it's so big. Holy cow. This way, this way, this way. This way. This way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, just don't get hooked by those two really sharp treble hooks in that. Holy cow, my heart is going. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I'm shaking. Oh, holy Dude. goodness. Holy crap. That's six and a half. <laughs> That's way bigger than the car. Got it hit on video. I stopped the GoPro because I thought it was uh, uh, I thought it was a snag. Started again, pulled the fish to the boat. You gotta get the bait in there. Take a picture of the top. Can you hold this while I throw on a shirt? <laughs> you are shaking. I am. Hold that. Yeah. I am shaking. That's crazy. Dude, I'm, we didn't have a net, but I'm so glad we were able to grab that. Yeah, I knew it wasn't coming off. That, that's 15 pound test, and uh, I wasn't worried about how much he had lipped it. Yeah. Well, I, you know what I said when I said I was just gonna throw it off the back? Yeah. I saw two fish hit the top, and I was like, it's gotta be something. So. All right, so I know a lot of guys in YouTube videos say, like, oh, I caught my PB in this video. This is literally the biggest fish I've ever touched in my entire life. We don't have the scale, but this is at least a six, and it is so crazy that it was on the Slayer Shad. I am literally shaking with excitement. This is insane. To like top 10 days of my life. All right, let's let her go. Oh, that's all chewed up on the side, too. Why is my cast? It's all sorts of scarred up. This is an old fish. Yeah. goes she knows she rules the place that's crazy <laughs> best day ever that was crazy I'm so happy that was insane we're gonna put herself in a precarious spot in this really slippery log oh. well now that we're here whew. So I did this whole little thing on the whiteboard where I explained why swim bait fishing was better than uh, Senko fishing, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll save that discussion for another time. But what I want to talk about is the swim bait. Where'd it go? So this is the Slayer Shad, if you didn't know. I make this one on my YouTube shorts and I make these out of my garage. This is a resin swim bait. Uh, six inch floating. This is a, actually a wake bait and uh, I'm just really proud of them You know, I'm glad I was able to catch my PB in this video Which was actually crazy because my PB before was like a 4.3. So 6.7 was crazy It was even better to catch it on one of my baits, which makes it that much better It just hits a little bit harder than just catching a normal PB. It's extra special because it's on one of my baits Oh, an honorable mention, the day before we took the boat out in the video, we actually took the boat out the day before, my brother threw the Slayer Shad around, and he caught this fish right here. Pretty proud of him, way to go, buddy. So two more things before the video is over. One, you can buy these baits at killerinstinctbaits.com. That's my new website. We did a bait drop about a week ago, and it went pretty well, we sold out. And uh, second thing is, if you catch fish, oh, if you catch fish on the Slayer Shad, let me know. I love to see it. And I'm doing a daily series on YouTube Shorts, and I'll include it on that when y'all send me pictures. So send me on all my socials and stuff. It'll be linked down below. Also, it's all just Killer Instinct baits. So uh, see you guys next time. If you want to buy a bait, KillerInstinctBaits.com. Help support the dream. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye.